the clash between Hoi Holm and Juliana Pena is probably going to go down on May 8th. And yeah, Juliana Pena, man, the Venezuelan vixen. I'm a huge fan of this girl, not gonna lie to you. 5'7, 69 inches, is her reach, kickboxing BGG, purple belt in BGG, riding a score of 10 4. And uh, this lovely girl is the UF 18 winner, one performance of the night. And she had ups and downs in the UFC, you know, but he, she holds a very much notable victories. And after that great victory over Sarah McMahon via Ernie Choke, we've seen that her submission game is on a completely different level. She progressed a lot. Prior to that, she was a uh, grounder and pounder. She was a real stamina expert. But right now, this is a very well-rounded girl. Very, very great fighter, you know. She holds notable victories <coughs> over the likes of Gina Mazzani, Shayna Bassler, Sarah Morash, Jessica Rokochi, Milana Dudieva, Jessica Aiket Zingano, Nico Montagno. She is a really good girl, but uh, a surprising loss to Jermaine Duranda, maybe a guillotine choke, Valentina Shevchenko via armbar. I mean, we were thinking that she is not good in defending submissions, but right now we see that she improved that aspect of the game a lot. Now she is going to meet Holly Holm. Not a good match for her. 5 foot 8, 17 inches, Holly Holm, boxer, kickboxer, blue belt in BGG, but fearsome striker, southpaw fighter, and a great professional boxing record, a great professional kickboxing record. 14 5 is her score, and uh, she is left handed, which might be a big, big problem. A really big problem for. Uh, a really, really big problem for uh, uh, Juliana Pena. I mean, she's the former Legacy FC Women's Bantamweight champ and two performances of the night, the former Bantamweight champ. I mean, I could discuss that all day long. In kickboxing, she was uh, the champ. In boxing, she was the champ. I mean, we can discuss that all day long, but she is uh, on a two-fight winning streak over Kel Pennington and Erin Aldana. She is decision expert, but on the other side, her stamina didn't look good in the early days against Shevchenko, Derandami, I mean, Chris Cyborg, her stamina didn't look good, but now her stamina is out of the wall. And uh, she is technically better, you know. Holly Holm evolved a lot. She is now also very good in wrestling, which might be a big problem for the Venezuelan Vixen. But uh, Holly Holm, she has that nasty left high kick on the other side. Joanna Pena, well, she is not the best in defending head kicks. And this might be a problem for her because Holly Holm is so tricky with this wrestling. She is so tricky with fighting inside the pocket and other things on the other side the venezuelan vixen we won't see a pretty much significant uh, reach difference and i expect a pretty much tactical all-around game you know i'm pretty much expecting a tactical game but i think this is a bad matchup for the venezuelan vixen considering the fact that holly holm he has evolved a lot she was a fearsome striker 100 percent striker she evolved to a super patient fighter who waits for the opportunities who cuts the angles and I think this is not a good matchup for Joanna Pena and despite I'm a huge fan of Joanna Pena I'm going to pick Holly Holm on this one I just think uh, this is a very bad matchup for Joanna Pena plus it will be very hard to take Holly Holm to the ground I mean let's be honest I'm uh, around the rosy but unable to drag her so I'm picking Holly Holm to win this one and my backup pick is going to be plus 1.5 rounds but I'm picking Holly Holm to win this one